seven six five four three two one zero rd 180 ignition and lift off lift off the 100th united launch alliance rocket the atlas 5 is carrying morello's three from mexico's ministry of communications and transportation and lockheed martin commercial launch services morello's three will deliver advanced mobile telecommunications throughout mexico Listen in for mission progress. Continue to burn well. Pump speeds and trigger pressures on the RD-180. Good. Body rates controlling down the middle. Coming up on SRV burnout. And SRV burnout has occurred. Boosters now throttling back up to 100% thrust. Engine response looks good. Current altitude is 18 miles, downrange distance 15 miles, current velocity 2,824 miles per hour. Booster engine performance continues to look very good, body rates controlling down the middle. Coming up on SRB jettison shortly. Closed loop steering has been enabled. Now find Q Alpha limited steering. RCS pyro valve has been fired. Systems now pressurizing the flight levels. Closed loop integral steering is underway. Currently accelerating at 2.8 Gs. Engine performance looks very good. Body rates are good. Range track shows making good progress right down the middle of the range. Currently flying at an altitude of 47 miles, downrange distance 103 miles, current velocity 6,590 miles per hour. Still accelerating smoothly at 3.7 Gs. Booster engine continues to operate well. And we have begun boost phase children and are beginning to throttle to maintain 5 Gs. Throttling back to maintain constant 4.6 Gs in preparation for BECO. Loose phase cooldowns complete. And we have BECO. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation. We have box and fuel pre start. GM2 purge for any of the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. Closed loop steering has been enabled. Fire rates look good. Box tank pressures have vented down as expected. Storage bottle pressures look good. Centaur P 
CPU is now in closed loop control, controlling near nominal. RCS line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature. Current altitude is 107 miles, downrange distance 465 miles, current velocity 12,611 miles per hour. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 5 minutes 25 seconds into the flight. We've just heard Marty Malinowski confirm successful completion of the early phase of today's mission. All systems continue to operate nominally. The Morelos 3 mission is currently in the first of two Centaur upper stage engine burns. Our next event, the Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in about 13 minutes. I'm now joined by Steve Skolodnik, president of Lockheed Martin Commercial Launch Services. Steve, thanks for joining me. It's, been, it's my pleasure to be here. Well, Lockheed Martin uh, Commercial Launch Services is supplying the launch for the uh, Mexican government today. Uh, how do commercial Atlas launches work? So, uh, you, as you well know, Steve, the, uh, the United Launch Alliance is a joint venture between Lockheed Martin and the Boeing Company. The uh, United Launch Alliance uh, is uh, is in place to service the U.S. government market space. Uh, so the uh, the parent companies, Boeing and uh, Lockheed Martin, will uh, market their respective products to the commercial market space and to the international market uh, customers around the world. So uh, when a commercial customer or when an international customer would like a ride on an Atlas rocket, they would uh, contract for that service through Lockheed Martin and then I'd turn around and, and, uh, and request uh, the, the assistance of United Launch Alliance to actually perform that service. I see. What do commercial customers like about launching on an Atlas? Mm. Uh, Steve, the, uh, the uh, Atlas vehicle is considered around the world as, as literally the gold standard for launch services. It is the most reliable uh, launch vehicle from in both terms of uh, performance and in terms of uh, date certainty. Uh, a satellite sitting on the ground uh, really does a customer no good. They can't generate any revenues from it. In fact, it costs them money sitting on the ground. So to get a satellite into orbit on time when they expect it to so that they can be providing the services that they are on contract to provide to their customers is absolutely critically important. And Atlas has, an, has, has a, a, a uh, almost a perfect record in, in making sure that we achieve not only mission success, but on-time performance as well. Well, this is a commercial launch, and commercial launches usually occur for commercial customers. But this is a launch for the Mexican government. How has it been working with a government customer? You know, uh, when you're dealing with international customers, their, their needs and their requirements are really not that much different than a commercial customer. Uh, they have their customers. The government of Mexico has their customers as well. Uh, in this case, this particular satellite is servicing uh, the uh, defense community within uh, the, the, the government of Mexico. So uh, my customer, the communications ministry uh, within Mexico, has to provide services to their customer and has to do so on a timely basis uh, and, on, and on a mission-assured basis as well. So really, it's not that much different. Well, Steve, you've been to many launches before. How do you feel right now in the middle of this <laughs> flight? Uh, you're absolutely right, Steve. I have been to a lot of launches, but you know, every launch is is different, mm -hmm. uh, and every launch has uh, has its own unique character. Uh, in this case, being for an international customer, uh, you know, the the accents of the applauses are, are a little different. But uh, you know, I have to say, every time I see the T zero hit and I see the 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 rocket take off, I, I still feel like a little kid at heart to, to see it take off. Well, that's great. Uh, thanks for all your insights into this uh, important capability for Mexico. Now let's get back to the mission. 61 miles, downrange distance 1,313 miles, current velocity 14,430 miles per hour. Centaur PU continues to run slightly oxidizer rich. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all look good for the set MR.
RL10 continues to perform well. All systems look good at this point. Centaur battery rates continue to control right down the middle. RL10 performance continues to look good for the oxidizer rich mixture ratio. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 154 miles, downrange distance 1,850 miles, current velocity 15,923 miles per hour. RL10 continues to look very good, still controlling slightly oxidizer rich. RCS thermal conditions all look very good, continue to see periodic thermal conditioning firings on that system. Centaur is accelerating at 0.6 Gs. Centaur continues to look very good. RL10 performance is phenomenal for the ZMR. And we have IAP vanish at this point. Centaur is orbital. Less than five minutes remain in this burn. Our tank pressures, storage bottle pressures, and batteries look good. Continuing to see our thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Our all 10 performance is nominal for the set MR. Four minutes remain in this burn. All systems look good. Currently flying at an altitude of 125 miles, downrange distance 2,649 miles, current velocity 18,422 miles per hour. And chamber pressures, locks discharge, and fuel venturi all look very good. Pump housing temperatures are in the expected range. RCS temperatures look very good and stable. Still controlling oxygen.
oxidizer rich. seconds into the mission. Centaur continues to perform well. Still requesting an oxidizer rich condition. Our alternate performance looks good. RCS is stable. Tank pressures and bottles look good. Batteries are stable as well. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 16 minutes and two seconds into the Morello's three mission. All systems continue to operate as expected. The Atlas Centaur second stage and Morello's three satellite are currently located over the Atlantic Ocean, flying on a southeasterly heading east of Antigua. Our next event, the first Centaur main engine cutoff, or MECO-1, is scheduled to take place in about three minutes. Here's Marty Malinowski. 16 miles per hour. Our PU is still slightly oxidizer rich. Our all 10 performance looks good, however, for the center mark. Less than one minute to Miko. continues to look very good. RCS, just seeing light thermal conditioning firings. Body rates controlling down the middle. All systems look good. Coming up on Miko. We have Miko engine shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling. As Morty Malinowski just reported, the Centaur main engine has completed the first of two burns in its mission to deliver the Morelos 3 satellite to geosynchronous transfer orbit. This mission is now in a two and a half hour coast phase. The Atlas V is now located over the Atlantic Ocean off the west coast.